Vice Chairman, Ford of Europe, Walter Hayes. I didn't really like turbos. I, I always felt our engine was an old master and turbos were modern art, you know? And I, I don't want to sound like a fuddy-duddy, but I think it's a very fair description of where I felt the difference was. The exhaust gas spins the turbine and forces the compressor to pump more air. The more air, the more exhaust gas, and the more exhaust, the more air. Theoretically, a runaway spiral of explosive power. Keith Duckworth. I think that in any racing engine, the nearer you are to it disintegrating, in general, the better its performance will be. BMW have been particularly successful with this neat, if rather asymmetric, engine layout. Now, aerodynamicist Ross Braun is back in the Cranfield Aeronautics wind tunnel. Before sliding skirts were banned in 1980, this grip was achieved with undercar suction or ground effect. There still is a type of uh, performance from under the car, but nothing like as good as a ground effect cars used to be, but we, we're now back into the area of the same overall downforce of the car um, that we had with the ground effect cars, but it's much more draggy, it's much less efficient. So we've lost efficiency, which has been compensated for with the performance of the engines. So um, the cars are really probably back in, well, they're, they're faster than the ground effect cars again. In terms of overall downforce, the rear wing probably contributes 50 to 60 percent of the forces involved, whereas in ground effect days it was a much smaller percentage. Now the cleaner and higher quality the flow of the rear wing we can get, the more performance we get out of it. With this new engine it's very low, very compact, so the engine is no longer the limiting factor to how uh, clean we can make the flow to the rear wing.